So guys, hello gentlemen here, bringing you another video of uh, Killzone 2. This time around the Tharsis Depot. As you can see, I'm playing as the engineer again, and let's get things started. I'm going to say right off the bat right now, this is not my best match, so don't expect anything special here today. Uh, still playing as the engineer, playing really conservative with it, just going around and fixing things up right now, as you can see. And yeah. I know a lot of you guys think that uh, my fixing things is a waste of time sometimes, but I think it is actually very helpful. For one, it, uh, you know, it bombards, I mean, you just see a bunch of red on the map. Well, the enemy team will just see a bunch of red on the map. Ammo crates, uh, turrets, and all the like. Also, it helps out the team, so uh, you don't always have to wait for someone to drop ammo. Oh, you don't have to wait till you die to get more ammo. I don't know about you, but I uh, play to win. I try to survive. Yeah, I know it's not always evident in the way I play, but I really don't just go looking for death. So, I like to ammo up whenever I can. And now I'm just looking out, thinking of going to help my team. And this is the part where I decide against it, and I just go around looking for things to fix again. And as you can see, my team has things well on hand anyway, so I'm just going around and building stuff up while the enemy's preoccupied. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's objective number one. And quite honestly, I like to fix things up anyway. I mean, easy points and it helps out the team. The assassination is next, and uh, we're going to go place a bot over here. Oh yeah, on a side note, I'm sure some of you have heard about the uh, changes that are going to be made to Killzone 3's controls. You know, at first I was a little disappointed that they said they were going to get rid of the heaviness. But, you know, after thinking about it and watching some E3 videos, you know, I, I think that'd actually be okay. <laughs> Got blown up by my own bot. But, uh, back on that, I think it'd actually be okay. I mean, one, it would draw more players out to kill zone. And two, after watching the vids, honestly, I don't see how it can be compared to most other, you know, generalized shooters like Call of Duty. I mean, it's, I'm hoping that it'll still have the weight. So, I mean... At least from the videos, it looks like the, your character still has some degree of mass. He's not just a camera with a gun on a stick type of thing like Call of Duty. So I, I think everything will be okay. But yeah, there's a massive uh, war on the Killzone forums right now about the controls. But honestly, I think everything will be alright. I'm still going to get a day one regardless, so yeah, you can expect some vids on that when it releases. Anyway, back to the match. As you can see, it's a search and retrieve. I'm not using boost, and uh, I'm not using the weapon I'm proficient with, so I'm not really going to go and try and, you know, try and return that thing over there. Got an uh, assault class guy over there who doesn't like my bot. Doesn't like me either. Misses with the rocket. And killing me anyway, but my bot doesn't miss him. That kid's dead. I mean, that's really the only thing I'm concerned about in Killzone 3. Is if the assault class makes a return unchanged with the new controls with less weight. That can be a major problem. But I have a feeling that uh, Guerrilla Games is smarter than that. And they won't just totally, you know toss up the game like that just to leave it like that so I have a feeling that the assault class will be changed for Killzone 3. There's going to be some major modifications to it. If not I can see foresee that being a massive problem. But you know that's you know what seven months away, eight months away, however however many months February is from January or July. So yeah there's still a lot of time left for them to get things right. And I think they'll do well regardless. One thing I am looking forward to, hopefully, is a co-op mode. 
Right now it's just rumor and speculation, but I really hope they add one. Always like co-op. I think it adds more to a game. Nice to, you know, just play a game without having to worry about killing other players, getting teabagged by other players, or just you, the usual jerkitude or douchebaggery that comes along with uh, competitive gameplay. And so I picked up the M82, getting a little sick and tired of using the shotgun, having to strafe all the time, fixing up this bot or this box because they always like to blow it up. And what is it now? Capture and hold, I believe. Yeah. Go to sleep. Shoot this little bot thing over there, so at least change its focus of direction. You want to make sure you shoot those things on the ground. It may not get rid of the bot entirely, but it'll at least force it to move to a different direction. It really does work. And make sure you shoot the air bots down, guys. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people just live those, let those things stay alive. Blow that thing up as soon as it spawns. Oh, and I'm gonna about to make a mistake here. I try to be Mr. Nice Guy and fix this guy's bot over here, even though it's, uh, you know, halfway destroyed. And I pay for it. You know, I kind of deserve that. I should have just blown it up myself. And, yeah, ooh, pick up this LMG over here. I don't do much with it, just to uh, give you a forewarning. One of these days I'm actually going to make some videos on this LMG, you know, just to do it. Because I'm really not good with it at all. At all. Now you're just looking around here. Not ready. Looks like the enemies put another spawn cloud down there. You know, normally that would be a very good place to spawn, but uh, since there's like two or three of us over there that are camping that area already, it's generally not a wise idea if you're on the ISA side. I mean, you're just easy pickings right there if somebody's paying attention over here. But now that that uh, spawn cloud is gone, I destroy this bot over here. Make sure you destroy bots that are placed that, you know, spots that don't help the team. I mean, there's nothing wrong blowing up a bot that isn't doing anything. It's not being mean. It's not being a jerk. It's just being practical. It makes no sense for a bot to stay alive somewhere if it's not going to shoot at anything. And I go for this spawn spot over here, but once again, uh, my teammates spawn on me. And that uh, totally sets me off my game, unfortunately. paying attention. But I am now, and I decided to place a bot up here. And I placed it for higher ground intentionally. I placed it in this spot, because if I placed it too far up top, like if I ran up those stairs and placed it, it would have easily been shot down. But here I can uh, repair the bot myself without having to expose myself too much. Totally missed there. Fixing this bad boy up. Teammate turned away. Saw him. 